Hey, and welcome to this quick tutorial for comps from spreadsheets script. What this script does is it allows you to create versions of comps using a comp template based on information in a spreadsheet. It's very easy to use this script. Uh, basically, you need to set up comps that are going to be templates for the information. So um, we have our spreadsheet, and in our spreadsheet we have uh, the basic information that we want to replace. In this case, we want to, um, this is a spot for, uh, it's a fake cable spot here where there's a phone number that needs to be replaced. Okay. And then the slate uh, needs to basically have the name of the spot, which is going to correspond to the phone number, uh, which has a corresponding ISCII code. And then we need to put in uh, today's date. So that information is in the spreadsheet. So we have the name of the spot here, uh, the, uh, the phone number, and then the ISCII code. The first, uh, the first row of your spreadsheet needs to have what's called the heading names. So in this case, core spot uh, is actually the name of the comp in the, uh, in the project. It's going to be the comp template, basically. Uh, so, for example, I could actually rename this comp template. Okay, so uh, that's going to be these are the comps. So here we have uh, spot one and spot two, right? And then again, name, phone number, and ISCII code. So if we come back here for spot one, uh, here are our text layers. So here's spot one. This is going to be the name of the spot. So I'm going to change this by basically adding uh, shift sick. Six. This is a little carrot symbol, and then the name of the heading. So here it says name, right? This heading is what. So it's going to replace whatever is in here with this text layer here. Name. Then this here is the ISCII code, right? So I can type ISCII. Now you can either do it as the text layer or just the layer name. So for example, here I could also just say. Uh, name okay and then there's a special uh, thing you can do in this script called date so you do shift six the six and then date and that'll insert today's date and then um, finally here in the spot here for this phone number here I can write number now or phone let's say phone now notice how I'm not typing it exactly the same as it is here okay so here's name phone number and ISCII and here I just wrote phone and then name and then ISCII so that's okay because when the script runs we'll be able to assign it to the proper place and then same for spot two here we'll change this to say phone and uh, actually you probably want to make it the same so we'll say phone lowercase um, and then back to the slate, we'll have our ISCII here. So shift six, ISCII, and then our date, and then the name of the spot. Okay, so now we have two different spots. They're slightly different, but they all basically have the same information, and it's inserted from this spreadsheet. Okay, now what I need to do is the spreadsheet, I need to go ahead and save as and I'm going to save it to the desktop here and I'm going to save it as a tab delimited text file um, almost every spreadsheet and database application will be able to export so you can actually uh, export out of a database as well just make sure the database fields are what we're putting in the headings here and you save it as a tab delimited text file and it will also work for outputting from a database okay so We'll call this grid tab delimited and we'll hit save and it basically just says it doesn't support multiple worksheets. Okay, we're not using multiple worksheets. And then back into After Effects, we said simply run the script. It's called comps from spreadsheet and it's basically asking me which comps I want to use as the comp template. So I'm going to use both spot one and spot two and the script basically uh, analyzes your project and picks out the comps. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I'm going to go to the desktop and pick this grid 
tab delimited text file and hit OK. So now it's basically asking me to initialize the fields. So here we're going to select a comp template. In this case, I'm just going to say comp. In other words, use the comps as a comp template. And then here it automatically matched name because it was name to name. But phone number, I actually wrote phone. So I need to basically help it out and be like, oh, phone number is phone. But if I typed it all identically, they would have all automatically matched in here. And then that's it. I hit OK. And so uh, it says, do you want to work? done in your copy of your project I'm gonna say go ahead, no or yes in other words you want to just replace this project or create a new project so if I hit no I just need to save this new project so I want to call this uh, versions project or something versions project and save that and basically it just goes to work so notice how many comps it's creating and it's actually suddenly run into a a problem so uh, there was a spelling error on line 54 so if we go to the Excel document and we go down to line 54 we can see that spot 2 it has a typo it actually says spo 2 so that's okay because in the script you can actually correct that by saying that was supposed to be spot 2 okay so I select spot 2 hit OK and the scripts continues running so when it's done running you're going to have a new folder called comps from spreadsheet and in here you're going to have as many versions so as you have uh, lines in the spreadsheet so here we have 63 lines so it created 63 comps that would have taken a really long time to do by hand and each one of these comps so we'll say for example we'll look at 60 so for 60 the ISCII code we'll uh, move this here is 2462473 two four six two four six seven three and the date is today's date and the spot name is pretzel so if we look here it says pretzel and the phone number is five 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 one two three six so if we go in here and we look we see it's whoops five 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 one two three six so that's it that's how the script works and it automatically queues all of these comps in your render queue using your default render settings and output module. So if you want these to be set in a certain way, just go into your templates and pick the uh, default. See here it says movie default. Um, so you would say the default render settings and then you would do the same for the output modules. And that's how it'll cho be chosen in there. And that's it. And then you just hit render. All right. That's comps from spreadsheets.